excited for you. <laughs> me too. So I saw you out there. I said, I hope I get to see you backstage. I'm and glad. Said, me too. You know what? And it's, it's really great that we get to obviously chat in this setting after winning. I'm in such a good mood. Seriously. I'm so Shannon. happy for you. How many interviews have we done in, in, in the past? Like, in like the past yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> we I feel like it's been dozens and dozens. <laughs> but you know what? This one is so special because I know that the work that you've put in, in running Complete Country, I know the work that you've done, obviously running Pure Country. <laughs> like, it's a time to celebrate you. Aww. And you're a very, very big reason why the Canadian Country Music Association and Canadian Country Music just in general is doing so well. Aww, thank Seriously, you. Shannon. You made me cry. No, thank don't you. cry. I it's appreciate the truth. that. Well, I'm so excited for you because I know how important fans are to you. And Very much so. I mean, just watching you integrate with them at shows and on your socials yeah. and stuff. To win this, I, I'm i beaming <laughs> for you, so I can't even imagine how you're feeling. Well, I'm feeling the exact same way you are. So, so in Havelock, when we challenged uh, Connor and Chris Barclay to beer pong, Remember yes. when I said that I was going to do that if we got to X amount of views or whatever. So Buddy comes out in London, Ontario. And so I play him a game of beer pong. He ends up whooping my ass. But because you didn't you, have your partner. I know. I should have had you there. Yeah. But here's the thing is that the biggest thing for me is just integrating everything that I do to make sure that it's fans first. Yeah. In everything. And I'll tell you who I learned that from. Garth Brooks. Yeah. In conversations with him backstage, he said... It's very special if you get a song that you play in your set list that is great for you and great for the fans. Yeah. But if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose, you play a song that's great for the fans. Yeah. So, I mean, if that guy, greatest entertainer in the world, will do everything that he can for the fans, then certainly me from Flat Lake Alberta should take his advice. Yeah. And what's it like being in Alberta and winning an award like that? Because I know how proud you are of being from where you are. Well, you know what, I, uh, I put a little ode out there that um, winning the fans' choice to me is kind of like winning the Stanley Cup. and um, It looked like it when you were holding yeah. it up there. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, it's such a great mood. And, and to get a chance to hoist that up in Alberta in front of so many friends and family is incredible. Um, I know that so many people like were spending so much time voting and my fan base was just rallied you know to vote and it's something that we truly share together yeah. so yeah I've got the trophy but it's something that we share together yeah. and I want to figure out a way and I, and I can't think of it right now but I want to figure out a way how I can truly um, show my appreciation to the incredible fans that I've made over the years. Well, if you need any help, I'll, I'll gladly okay. be there I appreciate for it. you. So um, speaking of the beer pong thing, yeah. I believe we have a another beer pong game that's happening again yeah. since the video wow. went viral. Exactly. Well, you and me, obviously, we need to go and we got to challenge anybody. And the best part about it is, see, see, look at us. So we may look like we're all gussied up on the red carpet, but we are truly like a dream team. We're rugged. Okay. We're rough. We will kick anybody's ass when it comes to beer pong. Yeah. We don't care who you are, no. but we're ready to go. Yeah. I said to Chris Barkley in the video, I will fight you. I know you did. And like <laughs> Chris didn't stand a chance. No. Like I just, I, look, I looked him up and down. I looked Connor Riddell up and down, plays guitar in my band. I'm like, you know, stand a chance. No, it's not going to happen. Okay, well, how are you celebrating tonight? Okay, well, do you want to do this? Can we do this on TV? Yeah, we can do anything. Okay. Okay. Oh, so we're I celebrating. Okay. Full of the best tequila that money can buy. Called El Tequileño. Your turn. Okay. I don't drink tequila, but for you, if you're winning fans' no. choice, I'm going to do this. Taiboja Nastrovia. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Complete country, pure country. See, isn't Good. that great? Mm. Honestly, the fact that I didn't just throw up Cheers. is impressive. <laughs> Congratulations, Brett Kissel at the CCMAs. Does it put you in that dark?